guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl ruby c and today i'm coming at you guys with a new video it's been a while since i posted i apologize guys but today i'm going to try something that i've been looking at for a while i'm like i'm a beginner when it comes to lashes like the last time i tried lashes was probably like seven years ago just because like the glue when the I wasn't getting it. It wasn't clicking. Okay. So when I saw that magnetic lashes came out, I was like, oh, okay. This is something for us lash challenge girls. Okay. So um, I went on Amazon and I found these lashes, Luxilia magnetic eyelashes. And I think they're actually like Amazon's brand. Like they came out with their own lashes. So I got this pack. It comes with seven pairs of lashes, two eyeliners. So one is clear and the other is black. And then it came with some tweezers. So I'm gonna try it out for y'all right now. We're gonna see how it goes. If it's really for beginners, if people who struggle with lashes can actually do this thing. Okay, so let's pop it open. And it says there's a surprise inside. I don't know what they talking about. <laughs> um, oh, it says get a second set free. So I guess maybe that's a surprise. Oh, oh snap. I should actually read this. Um, so on the back, it says how to use, follow step-by-step -step instructions, um, watch video tutorials, and to remove the eyeliner, use oil-based makeup remover or, or coconut oil. So I think what I'm going to do, like, at the end of the day when I'm ready to take these off, ooh, when I'm ready to take these off, <laughs> um, I'm going to come back and show you guys, like, if coconut oil works. So this is how it comes in the pack get a close view. So there's the tweezers, there's the two eyeliners, one is clear, one is black. And then these are the different sets of lashes that they have. And I already see like, I like a good majority of them. I think my favorite, let me move back. Um, I kind of like this one, cause it's like dramatic, but I don't think I would wear that today. These are kind of thick. I'm not a fan of like the really thick kinds. But I'll probably try each and every one of them. Not in this video. In this video, I'm probably just going to try one because I got somewhere to be. But <laughs> um, I think the one I'm going to go with, I really want to do this, but uh, I think I'm going to go with this, the third one. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let me check the instructions. Okay, so... These are the instructions right here. So it says, shake the liner pen five to six times and apply Luxilia eyeliner along your lash line. Gently remove your Luxilia lashes from the package and then place them as close to your lash bed as possible. Watch them immediately stick to the liner. And then you can adjust your lashes as needed to get the correct placement. We highly recommend getting them as close to your lash line as possible so they blend seamlessly into your lashes. Important, use cotton swab with any oil-based makeup remover to effectively remove your liner fast. You can also use coconut oil or baby oil to take off your magnetic eyeliner. Okay, so, yeah. So it seems pretty simple. So just shake the pen, put it on your lash line, um, put the lashes on, and then because they're magnetic, you can take it off and put it back on, which I love because... That's one of the things I struggled with when it came to the glue. It's like once you put it on and like you try to adjust it, then you get the glue on your fingers. Then like you might have to reapply because you waited too long. Just a whole hot mess and a half, as I like to say. So I'm going to go with actually the clear liner because I don't feel like doing black liner today because then, you know, you have to get it right and get the wing and stuff like that. And that's another struggle piece for me. So we're just going to rock with the <laughs> with the clear liner. Um and these are the tweezers. I don't even know how to use these bad boys. We're going to figure this out together. Y'all going to figure this out with me. Let's hope I don't poke my eyes out. But yeah, so, so shake it five or six times. So I'm doing more than five or six. Let's get this all mixed and ready to go. I'm going to do one by one and not like put the liner on both at the same time. Just in case I take too long with like the first one. Okay, I think I shake. Shook it enough. Ooh, okay. And let's go, guys. So I'm gonna close this eye and, ooh, okay. Y'all see it? Ooh. Okay, it says clear, but 
I think y'all could see it on the camera. Okay. Whew. Okay, I did it. <laughs> okay. And shout out to anyone who makes like a face whenever they put like anything on their eye, whether it's eyeliner or eyeshadow, and they're like, Ugh. I do that too. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, we're going with number three. Do I have to do it according to the side that it's on? Okay, let's see. So I don't see any magnetic pieces. I saw a YouTube like review on these lashes and someone said like you could see the, um, what you call it, the magnets on the back, but this one I don't see the magnets. Oh, it's sticking, okay. Okay, so I guess you hold it like this. Uh, we on the struggle bus, y'all, we on the struggle bus, okay. So, close my eyes, and... Oh, snap! <laughs> okay, I felt it. I felt it. It connected. <laughs> Wait, okay. Let me use my fingers. Okay, and start, start down here. And I guess move this way. <laughs> okay. Yo, yeah. what's happening? Did I have to wait? A certain amount of time can I just apply it we on the struggle with y'all let's see okay start from the corner okay and we're gonna oh okay work our way oh okay 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 Ew! yeah okay no we gotta adjust this oh snap oh snap okay <laughs> I'm struggling, y'all. Help me. Oh, Lord. Okay. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to go in my bathroom where I can look really close to the mirror and I'm going to adjust this and see how it goes. I'm going to come back, y'all. One eternity later. Whew, guys, it took me like <laughs> six or seven minutes, but I finally got it on. So this is what it's looking like. And I tried to do it as close to the line. I tried, like, doing the squeezy thing that I see some beauty people do. So, from the side. Yeah, it's the corner that was giving me some uh, struggle. But, yeah, so, if you can see, this is how my real lashes look. And this is these ones. So, I like the length. It's, like, a good length. Um, it's not too much, so... I'm going to put the second one on because now my eye look a little funky. Uh, probably going to do that one off camera as well because I need to be up close in the mirror. <laughs> like, and I'm going to come back with how it like, looks, the final look. Whew. Y'all. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> this is a struggle for me, but keep in mind that I don't wear lashes often. And like I said, the last time I did lashes was like seven years ago. So, you know, but this is what they're looking like. I try my best, y'all. I try my best. So let me give you a close up. So this is this side. And then this is the other side. Let me look. Let me close my eyes. I don't know if I did it right, so don't judge me, but yeah. So overall, like, I really like them. They're not too dramatic, like, you know, but they do have, like, dramatic choices. Like I said, like, this or this one or, like, these. They're, like, more thicker and, like, va va boom. But overall, I do recommend these. Um, this is not a sponsored video, so... Just know that this is like a real opinion for me. Um, I paid about $23 or $24 for this. And yeah, I definitely recommend. Like I said, for anyone who's like a beginner lash user, as you can see for me in total to put both of these on, it took me about like, I'll say 14 minutes, about seven minutes for each lash, just cause I'm like struggle bust, like I said in the beginning. But for anyone else who's like experienced with lashes, it might take a lot quicker cause it's boom, boom, boom. Um, the only thing, I don't know if these are magnetic. Like, it says magnetic lashes, but, like, 
in a sense it kind of just seems like glue like the the pen just has like some type of thin glue because I don't see any magnets on the back and like I said in someone else's video of like video review I did see magnets on the back of their lashes but these ones they don't have magnet magnets it's just like the pen in the in the lashes so let me know if you try these and how it worked out for you if you like them if you don't um if you recommend any other kinds of magnetic lashes I think I'll I'll try or I'll just keep these and see how the rest of these go. Six and a half hours later. Hey y'all, I'm back. It's the end of the day. And yeah, I'm about to get these lashes off. I'm about to get this eyeliner off. I hope and pray that it works because I've been hearing like magnetic lash eyeliner is like the toughest thing to get off. So fingers crossed. So let me move in a little bit closer so you could see. So this eye, it kind of did lift, but I couldn't, like, this was the one that was giving me problems to even put on in the first place. Um, so it was expected, but yeah, it held up pretty well throughout the day. I really like these. Um, so I'll just start with this since it's already, like, lifting. Let's see how easy it is to, oh, okay. Okay, and it just comes right off. Oop, right came right off and let's see this one see this one I put on a little bit better so we'll see if it comes off as easily as the other oh okay <laughs> yeah Woo! yeah that almost brought a tear okay okay Woo! okay it's off Ooh, okay. So now, I just want to make sure I got the eyeliner off. So as you could see, at, when I apply the eyeliner, and I did go back, let me move back a little. I did go back and look at some videos, and I saw that um, people, they usually waited like, uh, like at least like two to five minutes to let the eyeliner dry before they apply the lashes. So I don't know if that's why I was kind of having a more difficult time, because with them, it usually just like, sticks right on like a magnet but for me I kind of had to like push it on so it could stay so um next time that I do try to apply the lashes I will wait like two to five minutes let it dry a little and then apply the lashes so yeah so to remove the eyeliner <laughs> I got my big tub of coconut oil okay um because it did say to remove with coconut oil I got my cotton swabs and then I got my cotton balls just to like you know wipe it off so let's see let me open this bad boy up and I'm just gonna dip the swab in um, some coconut oil and just like rub and I'm just gonna rub it along my lash line Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. Rub, rub, rub. Let's see, because my eyelashes, some of the eyeliner stuck my eyelashes, my real eyelashes, onto my eyelids. So I'm gonna go in with the cotton ball and just like wipe and wipe. Okay, let's see. See this is still kind of stuck. So I'm gonna go in one more time with the um, different set of cotton swab. Oh, yeah, guys. Um, this is what it looks like. Still got some coconut oil left on. Like, put it on. I still felt a little like stickiness on my eyelids. So I just applied some more coconut oil with the cotton swab and I left it on there. I'm just gonna leave it on there for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna wipe it off. But overall, it was easy to take off. So it's not something I think that'd be too hard or like like some other reviews I saw where it's just like, how do you get this off? Not that deep. So yes, that has been my review of Luxilia's magnetic eyelashes. I will leave the link to the ones that I got down below in the description box. 
And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!